Questions for Rodney or Marcus? So yeah, just both talk about you know being Kentucky had been ten years and now he hadn't been far all those losses, but Larry's had lost ten in a row. Just talk about how to beat Kentucky. That's a big win. Um, you know, really, no matter who came in here, it's a it's a win, and that, that's all that really matters. But uh, you know, Kentucky's a great team. You got to give them, and obviously, they're a great team. We ranked in the country, and they got they got a, a ton of great players. So it's, it, it is a big win. Well, Marcus, what just what are your feelings as a senior? You know, to be trying to beat these guys. Like Rodney said, it's a big win. Every game, uh, you got to come in and play hard like we did tonight. So every game is a big game for us. So we just got to come out with a better focus like we did tonight. What was your feeling though when you get the, the layup to go in for you to, to be the one to you know, put the nail in the coffin? Well, you know, like uh, lately we've been missing a lot of layups. So, you know, we got to focus on that more. So a layup is layup, like two points. I think you knocked the ball away from Knight, knocked it to Peterson, and got ahead. Do you talk about that whole play that's starting with the defense and ending with, with the offense? Well, you know, we were tipping around the ball, like playing volleyball or something. Like somebody had to come up with the ball, so I guess one of us ended up coming up with the ball. Talk about that last play uh, later on the last shot. So you looked like you were rushing out, and you turned your head like, just talk about that a little bit. Well, you know, Coach told we're going to switch everything because everything, it was on the 10. So, you know, we switched everything. Like, me and Drew had miscommunicated, like, at the end, really. But I was out there to contest the shot. What have been, you guys have lost three overtime games. What do you mean to win an overtime game and throw you with? It's huge. Uh, you know, we made that a, a focal point before the overtime even started, um, knowing that we hadn't won an overtime game yet this season. And especially winning at home uh, in an SEC game here in front of our fans is is uh is, is huge and it's a tribute to our fans as well. Pretty shocked to get to the free throw line twelve times. Yeah, I've, I've uh that's what I've tried to do a little more. Just whether it was attacking or you know getting guys in there and getting into them, I've, I've tried to get to the free throw line. How big? Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. How big was the four point play when they you, you get the three when Liggins fouls you? Um, it, it was at a, it was at a good time, but um, you know my teammates got me open. It was there was a great screen set by Del Vaughn and. And uh, we had it all executed and, and went went real well and just went in. So it was a credit to my teammates. Rodney, can you kind of sum up what this mean wins for Coach Calvary, both because it's against Kentucky and also because of all the recent, whatever you want to call it, pressure? Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. Uh, you know, I'm happy for our team. I'm happy for the coaching staff and uh, happy for our fans. I mean, they, they supported us a tremendous amount tonight and that, that got us going. But, uh, you know, it's... We, we come practice and work hard every single day, so you know we kind of expect that, and uh, we we finally got that out on the court tonight. You have anything left in your legs at all? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty dead right now. Uh, I'll probably have to get a ton of treatment to get my legs back, but I'll be I'll be fine. Mark, what, what, what did you do your wrist there? What, you got like when I blocked the shot or whatever, like I came down knowing it kind of got a little spring in it. How well did you guys think a night played for them? And do you think he was tired? down the stretch and he played a lot of minutes. He, he's a great player, um, especially him only being a freshman. is pretty amazing. He uh, he knows he's got a high basketball IQ. He knows how to use screens. He knows how to uh, work pick and rolls really well. But I think our, you know, our, like you said, he might have been a little bit tired of fatigue, but he, he played pretty well. But our guys, you know, Britt and Jew and Mardrake has pre pressured him and did all they can to, to fatigue him, but he, he still played pretty well. Can you guys talk about Marshawn's game tonight on offense? Is his effort tonight? He played. He played great. I mean, that's what we expect for, uh, from him every single game, and uh, you know, that's an extra boost to our team. He got us going, and uh, so it was big. Anything else, uh, Rodney? The way you guys started, you got out to a little lead, and it was kind of up and down. Was that the pace and the energy you wanted to get going with tonight? Yeah, we want. We definitely want to get up and down and, and push the tempo, and you know, we want to we want to run a gun and, and make our defense our offense, and I think we did that a little bit right at the beginning, and. Uh, you know, it got a little tiring right off the right off the bat, going up and down like that. But that's how we want to play. Knowing that you guys had struggled over time, so what kind of things were said in the huddle with you before you started over time? What kind of things were said? Just, uh, you know, it was, it was a main point. Uh, you know, we had gotten all the way to that point, and the game was tied. Obviously, going into overtime here here in our home court, our fans supporting us, and you know, we we just said we had to win. We can't we can't lose it. It's there's not it's not an option losing and. You know, we came out and executed and, and did what we had to do to win. Just talk about the crowd energy tonight. Did that factor at all into you guys pushing out? It's a, it's a huge factor. Um, you know, it's always an advantage, especially when you have a 
you know the fans like we have that are pa as passionate as they are to to it's a big advantage for us and you know that's the, that's the whole thing about home court is you got your fans behind you and uh you know they're supporting you and getting you a little extra boost jerry they uh kentucky's lost a lot of close games like this especially on the road <coughs> how aware of that were you guys in terms of you know maybe we could you know we can do it well you know they lost a lot of games in a row but we got to come in and play hard like every game take every game like like it's our last, so that's what we did at the end of the game. Marcus, if you can set the biggest shot of your life, which will at least the Razorback. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks, guys. Coach Calipari should be in here next.